Hi, nice to meet you all. It's my honor to present our work, an investigation of few shot learning in spoken term classification here in Interspeech 2020. I am Yang Bingchen from City University of Hong Kong. The other authors include Tom Ko from Southern University of Science and Technology, Li Fengshang, Xiao Chen, and Xin Jiang from Huawei North Art Lab, and Qing Li from the Hong Kong Polytechnic University. In recent years, few short learning has drawn a lot of attention in the machine learning community, and there are a lot of elegant solutions developed in few short learning. So we think it is worth to investigate the feasibility of applying few short learning methods to speech tasks. The spoken term classification system aims to recognize the spoken terms in the voice signal. Normally, the spoken terms are predefined and given plenty of training data, conventional supervised learning algorithms could have solved this problem nicely. Then what about a user-defined scenario where users can define new spoken terms by themselves, but they can only provide a few audio examples for each new spoken term? It means that the system should be able to recognize the new terms with only a few examples, which is quite challenging. We formulate this problem as a few shot learning problem, specifically a few shot classification task. Next, I will introduce uh, two concepts a few shot learning problem and a few shot classification. Few shot learning problem is a machine learning problem that learns with limited labeled data of target tasks by incorporating external source data which has a different distribution from target data. Few-shot classification is a few-shot learning task, which is defined as n way k shot, as this figure shows. And in each task, there is a support set and a query set. In the support set, there are n classes of labeled examples, and in each class, there are k examples. So we needed to learn a model using the support set and evaluate it in the query set. Right now, most popular solutions of few shot learning problems use meta learning. Meta learning is also known as learning to learn. It aims to make a quick adaptation to new tasks with only a few examples. And there are many elegant solutions in meta learning such as matching network, prototypical network, and the model agnostic meta-learning, which is also known as MEMO. And uh, in our approach, we take model agnostic meta-learning uh, to solve our problem. MEMO is to chain a model which can adapt to any new task using only a few labeled examples. The model is trained on various tasks, also known as meta tasks or episodes, and it treats the entire task as a training example. The model is forced to face different tasks so that it can get used to adapting to new tasks. MEMO has been widely used in few shot image classification tasks or few short speech classification tasks, or few short relationship, relation classification tasks in natural language processing. Next, I will introduce the details of a memo. There are two stages of memo, the meta learning stage and uh, the fine tuning stage. In the meta learning stage, uh, usually, we, we are given an initial model of theta, and uh, in each learning batch, we sample a series of meta tasks. And in each meta task, Ti, uh, we first 
compute a loss using the examples from the supporter set as the equation one shows. Then uh, we update the model parameters theta using one or several steps of gradient descent as equation two shows. After that, we use the updated model and uh, compute another loss using the examples from the query set as the equation three shows. And finally, we will uh, combine the losses from the meta tasks, tasks in, a batch, in, in one batch as equation four uh, shows. And you can see that in equation four, we, uh, we list two equations uh, because uh, usually one batch contains several meta tasks. So we can combine uh, the losses of different meta tasks, but there, uh, there can also be only one meta task in one batch. So this first equation is for that situation. And uh, uh, this is a second order gradient optimization. In the fine tuning stage, uh, each task also consists of a supporter set and a query set. So before, before evaluation, uh, the model initializer learned in the meta learning stage will be fine tuned in uh, the supporter set with a few iterations and then evaluate uh, in the query set. So we introduced the uh, original memo algorithm. Then in our approach, uh, we extend the few shot classification problem uh, from n way k shot to n plus m way k shot. As in most few shot studies, all the classes are assumed to be new. But in real life applications, some of the classes are known in advance. So we define an n plus m way k shot problem where m is the number of fixed classes. N is the number of new classes in the target task, and K is the number of examples of each new class. And we extend the original memo uh, to solve our new problem. We fix the output positions of the fixed classes in the neural network classifier the fixed classes occur in every meta task in the meta learning stage, but the adaptation of fixed classes is not needed in the fine tuning stage because they have already been learned in the meta learning stage. And this is the framework of our extended memo approach for the few short spoken term classification. And in the meta learning stage, we sample a number of uh, meta tasks. In each meta task, there is a supporter set and a query set. So our problem here is a 10 plus two way k shot problem. Uh, 10 means 10 keywords here, like this. And uh, two means two fixed classes. And here are the silence and the unknown classes. In the meta learning stage, the meta tasks are randomly uh, sampled from a pool of keywords. And in the fine tuning stage, uh, in the digits classification task, uh, usually we needed to rec rec uh, recognize uh, 10 digit uh, spoken terms here, the algorithm of our approach. Then for our experimental setup, we use the Google speech commands dataset, which contains more than 100,000 one second audio clips from 35 keywords. We formulate two 10 plus two way k shot tasks using the same setup as the audio recognition tutorial in the official TensorFlow package. And we uh, divide this 35 keywords in, uh, for our need. 
and uh, our two tasks are digits classification task and the commands classification task. So in each task, there, uh, there are 10 keywords and uh, two fixed terms, the silence and the unknown. The digits classification uses digits zero to nine as 10 keywords and uh, commands classification uses 10 keywords as yes, no, up, down, left, right, on, off, stop, or go. And we uh, use the 40 dimensional MFCC uh, features for each spoken term. And our base model is CNN, which contains four convolutional blocks. Each block comprises uh, three times three convolutions and uh, 64 filters. We use two baselines. One is the conventional supervised learning approach which uh, use the test, test commands, uh, test spoken terms uh, only. And the other baseline is the original memo, which treats the 10 plus two way problem as a 12 way problem. And uh, this table one is the result on digits classification. The table two, is the result on commands classification. And from this results, we have uh, three observations. The first observation is that the overall accuracy in digit classification is better than in command classification. And this implies that in a user-defined scenario, the system performance will be affected by the keywords users pick. And the second observation is that memo-based approaches perform much better than the conventional supervised learning in a few short situation. And the third observation is that our proposed approach outperforms the original memo. And we attribute the improvement to the use of prior information of the fixed classes. We also do another experiment which compare uh, the user-defined scenario and the predefined scenario. Here, uh, the predefined scenario means that we collect uh, quite a lot of labeled examples uh, in this digits classification. And uh, this is the result of predefined scenario. Uh, the accuracy reaches uh, uh, near 91%. And compared to uh, our extended memo approach or the supervised learning approach, here, even we use uh, 100 examples for each class. And there is a performance gap between the user-defined scenario and the predefined scenario. And in the, uh, uh, by the way, the predefined scenario use about uh, more than uh, 3,000 labeled examples for each class. And then finally, we, we will uh, draw a conclusion. Uh, in this piece of work, we formulate a user-defined scenario of spoken term classification as a few-shot learning problem. We define an N plus M way K shot problem, which we believe is a more realistic problem. And we solve this problem by extending the original memo, and we get better result compared to uh, the conventional supervised learning method and the original memo. In the future, uh, as there is a performance gap between a user-defined system and a predefined system, uh, we try to narrow this gap with some other techniques, such as the data augmentation techniques or explore other meta-learning methods. And uh, that's all for, our, uh, for my presentation. And thank you very much for your listening. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, you can, uh, uh, you are welcome to see our paper 
and our code. And uh, if you have any more questions, please feel free to email us. And uh, thank you very much. I wish to see you uh, someday uh, offline. Thank you. <laughs>